Hey everyone, the, the workout brief for Friday, April 3rd's workout. Let me get this out of the way first. So those of you that tune in for Hope can see her. And then check out. Say hey Hope. Hunter. Hi. Say hi buddy. Hi. Yeah. So guys, tomorrow's workout uh, it is four rounds. Uh, it's 50 bear crawl steps. I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. Uh, three Turkish get-ups. Thank you, Alicia, for the inspiration to bring back the Turkish get-up. Six one-arm presses, nine one-arm front squats, and then 12 one-arm deadlifts. Uh, you're going to alternate arms every round, so you'll un ultimately end up doing two rounds of that uh, on both sides, just alternating each one. So round one, for example, you'll use your right arm for the entire complex of movements. Uh, on round two, you'll use your left arm. Round three, your right arm. Round four, your left arm. Okay. The bear crawl, obviously, is both sides, um, so it won't apply for that. The uh, warm-up, we'll get that out of the way now. Let's go over that. Same idea, dynamic stretching to warm up and begin with. Um, the, and, uh, as per usual, the, 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 uh, the intention is to warm up each of the movements. Just run yourself through a miniature little version of the workout before you get things started. Just prime everything real good. Uh, warm up some bear crawl steps, some Turkish get-ups, presses, front squats, and deadlifts on each side of the body. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go over... The, uh, the hope is that if you have a dumbbell, you can do this entire workout with just one dumbbell. Um, I'm going to go over the movements utilizing a dumbbell first. And if you have other pieces of equipment, a kettlebell will work for this as well. If you don't have either of those, a backpack might be your only option, a loaded backpack. I'll go over what these movements would look like with that. Um, let's go over the bear crawl first. So the bear crawl... I'm working under the assumption that you guys don't have a big amount of space uh, or length of open area that you can actually bear crawl back and forth in. Uh, so I'm gonna demonstrate it using like just a two point bear crawl. So you'll go two steps forward, two steps backward. Every time you step your hands, uh, that's considered a repetition. You're gonna do 50 of those every single round. So regardless of how far you're actually traveling, uh, the intention is to do 50 steps. Um, so if you're in a relatively confined space, um, so I'm just going to work under the assumption that you are, the way I'd recommend you do it is start. Uh, so you're on all fours, hands and feet, hips are relatively low, knees are bent. You're going to take a step forward with one hand. That's one rep. Notice I move the opposite leg. Uh, you're going to take a step forward with the, with the next hand. That's two reps. And then I'm going to step backward. And it's going to be repetition number three. Repetition number four. So I'll just do another set. Five, six, seven, eight. And I'm basically just staying in that same place the entire time. I'm gonna do 50 of those every set. If you can walk a little bit further, obviously walk forward a little bit further. Uh, if you wanna turn around and then go back, you can do it that way so you're not actually walking backwards. I would actually encourage you to do the backwards walk um, just for a little bit more of a challenge, something new, a little bit of variety. Obviously, if you have a full 50-foot open stretch that you can utilize, go for it and just do a 50, uh, well, 50-foot should be about 50 steps. You know, every time you reach your arm, it should be about a foot length approximately, so it should ultimately end up being about the same. The Turkish get-up, let's go over that. I'm going to, again, work under the assumption you're using a dumbbell. Just a little refresher, you're gonna start lying on your back. Arm is straight, the same side knee is pointing up to the sky. You take your opposite arm, push it into the floor, rotate into that arm, and then straighten all the way. From there, the hips raise up. Keep the arm nice and straight throughout. Pull that knee underneath the hips. Come to kneeling, and then stand all the way up. The return is just a mirror image of that. Step back with your opposite leg of the arm that's up. Side, bend the hand to the floor. Kick that leg through to your butts on the ground. Control yourself back down to the deck. All right, so we'll do another one real quick. After three, 
You're going to stay standing and then perform six presses with that same arm. If the weight is too heavy and you can't do six presses, you can also revert to push pressing a little bit. Try to keep the movements strict with that press the whole time. Then it's nine front squats. Rack the dumbbell on the shoulder. Lower down to the bottom of the squat. Stand all the way back up. Nine of those. And then 12 deadlifts. So just bring the dumbbell along your side. Lower down by bending at the hip. Keep the back straight. Tap it on the floor. Stand all the way back up. That will be one full round. You'll do that on the opposite side in the next round. Uh, the kettlebell. I don't think I necessarily need to demonstrate that. All the movements should basically be the same. Obviously, the position with which you'll hold the kettlebell will be in the handle, across the palm diagonally, resting on the outside of the forearm. Uh, for the presses, start from that rack, press it overhead. For the front squat, keep it in that rack position. For the deadlift, bring it along the side, lower down, tap it on the floor. If you're going to be using a backpack, So again, there's really two options. You can still utilize just one side of the body for this. Your backpack will either have a handle on the top and you can just grab that for all the movements. Um, so you can see how that would work for a good Turkish getup, for example. Um, it'll also work for the presses. It'll also work for the front squat. Uh, if you're gonna deadlift uh, with a backpack, I'd recommend grabbing the straps of the backpack lower down just to get a little more range of motion, press it all the way flat so the straps go against the backpack and then stand back up. Otherwise the range of motion will be very, very limited. Okay. Uh, if it doesn't have that little handle on the top of it and you just need to grab the straps the entire time, that's fine as well. You can see how that'll work for the Turkish getup. You can see how it'll work for the press or the front squat. And we already went over that deadlift. Um, if you're going to be using something else other than that, if you have access to a barbell, for example, you could potentially utilize a barbell for all those movements. You wouldn't do them on one side of the body, obviously. Uh, but feel free to just reach out, guys, if you have questions about how to perform the workout with a specific piece of equipment. Happy to help out as needed. Have fun, guys. Hopefully we'll see some of you in the morning, 7 a.m. We'll run a Zoom class with me and then 6 p.m. with Jen. See you guys, good night.